So what's the big deal with the resurrection of Jesus? Well, first of all, the first bullet point is the idea that God validated Jesus' life and message. Okay, think about it. Imagine if God the Father resurrected Joseph Smith. Right? Joseph Smith is the founder of Mormonism. He has misled millions of people, brought in a, a false gospel, a false message, a false savior. Imagine if God resurrected Joseph Smith. Whoa! Joseph Smith is the man. God must really love Joseph Smith. Joseph Smith is the dude, man. What if God resurrected Muhammad? Whoa! God must, be, God must think really highly of Muhammad, right? What was Jesus' central message? What did Jesus talk about the most in his ministry? It wasn't heaven, it wasn't hell, it wasn't money, it wasn't the kingdom. The one thing that Jesus talked about the most was who he was and who his father was. You better get God right on judgment day or you're trusting in a false savior, a false God. So Jesus is God. So if the father raises Jesus from the dead, what is he saying? The father is saying to the son, this is my son and I endorse his message. It's absolutely true. Whoever the Father resurrects and endorses, he is endorsing him and his message. So if Jesus was a false God, a false Savior, and gave a false gospel, especially who he said he was and who his Father was, God himself was validating a lie. So the resurrection was the Father validating the entire life and message of Jesus Christ going back to the idea of who Christ really was, right? Jesus is sinless and therefore God, right? Bad news, people die. Why? Because the wages of sin is death. So if Jesus was a sinner, he'd still be dead because that's his punishment. So when the Jesus rose from the dead, it was saying his punishment and his death was undeserved. It was not for him, it was for some, someone else. Jesus showed that he had power over death, right? That's why whoever believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. Why is that so important? Because we have to put our hope and trust in the one who has more power than our greatest enemy, which is death. And don't forget this very simple truth. When Jesus, I love talking to college students, hey, you believe in life after death? And they say, yeah, I think so. Most people do, by the way. But then if you ask them if, is there, if there's any evidence for life after death, most people say, evidence? No. And I say, hey, if I give you some evidence in 20 seconds, would you listen to me? And they all say, sure. So I say, here we go, 20 seconds, here we go. There's a guy named Jesus who came from heaven, was a sinless alive, died on the cross, rose from the dead. If that story is true, that he rose from the dead, that's evidence of life after death. So Christianity is an evidence-based faith. It's not faith in faith or just believe. We believe because we have evidence to back up our faith that Jesus Christ rose from the dead.